What's up, Internet? Time for another episode of Bibili Ka. And ngayon, Bibili Ka nung AIO, ano yung kailangan mo malaman para hindi masayang pera mo? And just like any other episode dito sa Bibili Ka series natin, we're focusing on practical information for beginners. So wala masyadong technical jargon. So hopefully, we're gonna present things that beginners can follow along with and maybe even advanced users can pick up a thing or two. Bibili Ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, kalito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CDK ka na para sa windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, check out cdkeyoffers.com So ano nga ba yung AIO? Basically, it's just a component that cools your CPU. It's a kind of CPU cooler. Another option for CPU cooling is the more traditional air cooling. And the way that works is, may CPU ka, yung tower nakakabit on top of the CPU. And then, the heat goes from the CPU, makikit sa tower, tapos may fans ka to push the heat away from the tower. And that's how air cooling keeps your CPU cool. Iba sa AIO, you have a CPU block na nakabit yung CPU, yung init ng CPU, linilipat ng CPU block via liquid, usually water, dito sa radiator. From the radiator, may nakakabit na fans and those dispel the heat from the rad. Ano yung advantages ng EIO? To be honest, mostly it's aesthetic. The air coolers are very bulky, especially the high-performing ones. The larger your tower, the better your performance. Pero yun nga, some people find it an eyesore sa gitna ng build nila, may ganitong kalaki na tower. With AIOs, you don't have that problem because the CPU blocks are generally much smaller, sometimes circular, sometimes square, usually may RGB pa to. And that allows for really cleaner builds. So parang dito, Kabit mo lang yung CPU and then the CPU block and you'll notice that this is a much cleaner look compared to having an air cooler stuck right in the middle there. So the chief advantage of an AIO, not gonna lie, is that it makes the rig look better. Yung disadvantages ng AIO, there are more parts that can break down. Both air cooling and AIOs use fans. Usually, hindi na yun nasisira. But kung masira man yun, madaling ma-replace. It's very easy to swap out the fans on both an air cooler and an AIO. But an AIO has more parts inside na usually mahirap na palitan. If the pump of an AIO fails, wala na, usually dead na yung AIO na yun. Plus, because there is a liquid flowing inside of it, nangyayari pa minsan na may tutubo sa loob. <laughs> and we've seen this actually, some kind of gunk or biofilm grows inside the AIO. It clogs up the pipes, hindi na makacirculate yung coolant, hindi na magkukul yung AIO kasi hindi niya malipat yung init ng CPU from the CPU block transmitting through the pipes. Since clogged up na nga yung pipes, hindi na aabot sa radiator yung init. Iinit yung CPU mo. So disadvantages, there are really more points of failure in an AIO. But AIOs are very popular at kung naisip mo na gusto mo bumili, there are two things you need to check for compatibility. Number one, yung socket ng CPU. All CPUs have a specific socket type na paiba-iba. It might change depending on the generation of the CPU. For example, yung latest na Intel 13th Gen socket LGA1700 yun. You just need to make sure that your AIO is compatible with the socket of your CPU. You don't even need to think about it too much. Tanong mo lang yung PC shop, Oy, ano ba yung socket ng CPU ko? And then, check if that is one of the supported sockets of an AIO because AIOs support multiple sockets. If you're an AMD, you might be on an AM4 or AM5 socket. It's the same thing. You just need to check what's the socket of your CPU and is your AIO compatible with that socket. For installation, an air cooler goes nga smack right here in the middle. Medyo eyesore siya for some people. But the installation of an air cooler is much simpler because all you need to do is stick the tower onto the CPU, use the mounting bracket, and then mount the fans onto the tower. An AIO, mas mahaba konte yung installation, but it's also quite simple, and a lot of it has been streamlined. Medyo mainstream na kasi yung AIOs. There are three main steps in the installation of an AIO. Usually, you install the fans first on the radiator, 
when an AIO gets to you, usually yung radiator lang to, wala pa tong fans. But they just screw on onto the radiator. And then you install the CPU block onto the CPU. Again, there's usually a mounting frame. And then your final step is to install the radiator inside the case. Usually, the common mounting points are either dito sa top or dito sa front. There are some cases na nandito sa side or sa bottom. That's also possible depending on your case. While we're on installation, medyo naging infamous yung mga AIOs around two years ago because Gamers Nexus, which is a YouTube channel abroad, came out with a video saying na kung mali yung pag-install mo sa AIO, masisira siya. And that's true, but it was blown out of proportion because it's easy for people to latch onto something parang, oh, I want to sound like an expert. O sabihin ko lang na, oh, mali yung installation ng AIO mo. It's true, pero relax lang, guys. Basically, sinasabi lang dun sa Gamers Nexus video, you just want to make sure that your radiator is above your CPU block. So if this is your CPU, you just need to make sure that the radiator is above the CPU block. So like this would be fine. If you're gonna mount it in front, this is fine as well. Wag lang ganito. And this is where you might see more failure rates in an AIO. Di ko nga sinasabi na masisira yung AIO kaagad. It'll probably last for a bit longer. But with the radiator below the CPU block, that's where you increase the chances of AIO failure. But this is fine. This is also fine. In nga, medyo nagka... Everybody loves to scare everybody on the internet. It gets views. People sound like experts. May appeal yung mga videos and may appeal yung mga experts na nagsasabi sa'yo bilang isang beginner na mali yung ginawa mo, bobo ka, ba't mo ginawa yun? Because, yun nga, because it makes people look good, because it makes the expert look good, and it makes the beginner think na, ah, hindi ko kaya to, dapat pinagawa ko na lang sa expert. But I'm here to tell you guys na, don't freak out. Yun nga, it's no reason for panic. Most cases will already optimally place the AIO. Kasi nga, usually, either sa top lang yun or sa front. When in doubt, of course, you can ask people like us, yung mga techie friends mo, but there's no reason to be scared. Relax lang. Kaugnay dun sa installation, anxiety ng mga AIOs is we often get asked the question, does it matter kung tubes down or up or side? So ito yung tubes na tinutukoy natin. Kasi depending on the CPU block, sometimes this rotates. So you can really have it on the side, for example, and then straight pa rin naman yung face ng AIO because some of them rotate. So it's possible you're installing, di mo talaga na malayan, and then napasok mo na, everything is okay, na-rotate mo yung CPU block, pero napansin mo, uy, nasa side pala yung tubes or nasa taas. Because, yun nga, it can, you can get something like this, or you can get something like this. Does it matter? Generally, the orientation of the tubes doesn't matter. Hindi masisira AIO mo kung up, side, or down. But there are some models specifically na sinasabi ng manufacturer. For example, like Deepcool's LS series na better, we've seen better performance kung tubes down. So general rule, doesn't matter what orientation your tubes are. Exception to the rule is some AIOs, and this is where you do want an expert, not somebody who scares you, but somebody who's knowledgeable about these parts, na magsasabi sa'yo na, ah, yung specific model na yan, better na tubes down, kasi si brand mismo nagsabi, si manufacturer mismo nagsabi na we get better performance with tubes down. Moving on to the size of an AIO, pag size pinag-uusapan, we're talking about the length of the radiator. Walang kinalaman, yung CPU block pa minsan mas malaki, mas maliit. That's not what we're talking about when we talk about size of the AIO. Pag size ng AIO, size ng rad yung pinag-uusapan. And the common sizes are 120mm, 240mm, and 360mm. There are radiators na uncommon, 280mm, and anything above 360mm. But for the most part, 120, 240, 360, and you notice na kaugnay yun dun sa number of 120mm fans. Yung standard size fans for computers are 120 and 140. 120 is more common. And the common size radiators are designated like that. 360mm rad, you can have three 120mm fans attached to it. Does size matter? As with most things in life, Yes, size matters a lot. Malaki yung performance jump between a 240mm rad and a 360mm rad. And yung 120mm rad, kung pansinin mo sa stock ng Hardware Sugar, we don't carry 120mm rads. Because personally, na hihinayan ako sa performance, di ganun kaganda yung performance for me on a personal level, yung 120mm rad. 
if a customer asks for that, usually we just recommend just go na lang with an air cooler kasi it's really better value for money at that performance point. Mag air cooler ka na lang kaysa sa 120mm rad. There are people who agree with that view, there are some people who disagree, but since ako yung nagsa-stock for hardware sugar, ganun yung pagka-stock namin, we only stock 240mm and above. So bottom line, size does really matter. And the larger radiator you get, probably the better performance you'll get. At mararamdaman mo talaga yun. Laki nung difference. To be honest, when we first started the shop, para for me, okay lang yung 240mm rad. But then when we started being able to review certain units, the 360 talaga, and with the much hotter CPUs nowadays, makikita mo talaga yung difference with the 360mm rad and higher if you do want to get a larger rad pa. Wrapping up, let's address the elephant in the room. All AIOs have liquid inside them. Is it a good idea to put liquid beside your very expensive components? Naka 4080 ka, 4090, 1200 watt PSU, 7900X CPU, 3900. Yun nga, sobrang mahal ng mga items na to. DDR5 RAM, DDR5 board. Do you want to put basically a reservoir of water inside, right beside those very expensive parts? Baka mag-leak. To be honest, we've sold hundreds of AIOs from different brands. Deepcool, NZXT, Corsair, iba-ibang brands. None have come back. So literally hundreds of AIOs that we sold, none of them have come back with a leak. Is a leak possible? Yes, of course, anything is possible. But it's very, very, very small, yung chance na yun. It's just like, nagjijeep ka, nagkakar ka, sumasakay ka sa aeroplano. I mean, we do things every day that carry a certain amount of risk. But that doesn't mean when you get into your car that you're gonna die when you go on the road. That doesn't mean when you take your bike, masasagasaan ka. Everything we do in life has a certain amount of risk. Is there a risk na mag-leak yung AIO? Yes. Is that a risk that you should be worrying about? No. Literally, in our four years, hundreds of AIO sold, we have never come across a leak. Yes, AIOs fail, the pump can fail, it might not be cooling your CPU, that's another problem. But for leaks, that's generally not something we think you need to worry about. Before we wrap up, may nabangit akong brands and people do ask us what brands do you recommend. For value for money, our go-to recommendation is always deep cool. Sobrang good performance nito. Tapos yung price niya, sobrang sulit. Deepcool is really one of those brands that we like to carry because they're not really that sikat. Sikat siya among enthusiast circles, pero hindi pa talaga siya mainstream or hindi pa siya break into the wider consciousness of PC building. And also, it's very accessible dito sa atin. It's still widely available dito. So Deepcool, very good brand, very good performance, very good price. We actually have a video just came out na out of the hundreds of Deepcool AIOs na binenta namin, how many have come back? Spoiler alert, wala pa. Flawless failure rate. And so that's why we really like to recommend Deepcool. More expensive brands, NZXT, Sikat na Sikat, beautiful AIOs, good performance, a little pricey, but kung kaya naman ng budget, why not? Same thing with Corsair, beautiful RGB, especially the Capelic series. A bit pricey, but again, kung yan yung gusto mong aesthetic and kaya ng budget, why not? Another good value for money brand is Arctic. Very interesting design yung CPU block nila, hindi cookie cutter, may fan pa for the VRMs of the motherboard. So they're doing interesting things and sobrang ganda ng performance and the price is very good also. One brand na sikat for budget that we don't really recommend is id cooling. We've sold some id cooling in the past and to be fair, hindi naman kami nagka problema, walang bumalik. But our personal experience with some of the staff in the shop, they bought in cooling and hindi talaga siya tumagal. It's maybe two years and then nasira na yung AIO nila. So the price is good, but reliability-wise, medyo may concerns kami, which is also why we don't carry them in the shop anymore. We think it's a better value proposition if you just get deep cool or Arctic. But there are a whole other, sobrang daming brands ng AIOs on the market and we've only covered a select few. Nasa sayo na yun if you want to research ano yung reliability, failure rate. But I'll answer one last question before I go. Yung AIO is actually an acronym. And what does it stand for? AIO All-in-One. Meaning, naka-integrate na lahat. Because before, water cooling was custom. You needed to cut the pipes, you needed to get the different components, the radiator, the CPU block, yung coolant inside the system. Lahat yun custom. Sobrang madugo taas nung technical level na kailangan before you could get liquid cooling inside your computer. 
But in the past five years or so, sumikat na tong AIOs and they're true to their word, all in one talaga siya. Kumbaga integrated na lahat. You have the CPU block, you have the coolant, you have the radiator, you have the fans, all in one convenient system. And yun yung main advantage ng AIO, no muss, no fuss. It's just really basically as easy as installing an air cooler. You can still do custom liquid water builds and those are really interesting to look at. And actually, pangarap ko nga sa shop na we'll start offering that. But yun nga, we need to upgrade our technical skills first because it takes a lot of effort, attention to detail. Yun talaga pwede mag-leak. <laughs> Unlike AIOs na in one package, you're able to use liquid cooling in your setup. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.